All good. Hossein, what a win against Ding Zhengui, your first on the Crucible stage, and to come from two frames down twice and to blitz him off the table in the manner in which you did, that was an incredible victory. Yeah, it was. It was such a uh, great game. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm one of the Ding Zhenghui fans. I respect him a lot. He's uh, opened a big, massive market for uh, snooker players. So I think every one of us, we should respect him, what he done for our sport. And uh, yeah, I said that before as well. I'm his fan. I'm sorry to his fans, <laughs> but this is the game of a snooker. One side is win, one side is lose. So somebody have to win. And yeah, it was great game, and I enjoy it a lot. Hopefully, I show this kind of performance more. Well, I mean, at times it looked like an exhibition. You were engaging with the crowd. You know, when the balls were out of position, yeah. you were asking him. You you look like. You're a born showman and you look like you love the Crucible stage. Of course, I don't want to be boring. I don't want to be just, okay, I'm a snooker player. I have to just focus on my game. No, no I'm, I, just, I just love people. They, they pay to come and watch us. At least drop some words to say something to make them laugh as well. You know what I mean? I know it's not our job to do that, but some people can, some people suit, sometimes suit some people, sometimes doesn't suit them. So. Maybe God give me something, I don't know. <laughs> is that just about the best you've ever played in a single session of snooker? Uh, I think so, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. And were you aware, I'm sure you were, just as you turned after you'd shaken Ding's hand, you got a standing ovation from the Crucible crowd. It's not often that happens at the end of a first round match. The crowd were realising that they witnessed something very, very special. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Crucible is a special place, but I've done my job in Masters, so it doesn't affect me at all. So I love playing in front of 10,000 people, make me more uh, hungrier to play in front of them. So nothing scared me, nothing. But I mean, I'm talking about the way that they embraced what you've done at the end. Yeah. As a mark oh, yeah, of yeah. respect to you, yeah, the yeah, standing yeah. ovation was amazing. It was, it was amazing, yeah. And yeah, I just... I'm always saying that uh, once you, if you want to be champion, you have to have a people heart. Doesn't matter what you do in your sport. As soon as you have the people heart, you are champion. Well, speaking of champions, you're going to have to beat the reigning champion in the next round. I mean, this is teed up to be a monumental mm. last 16 match. You against Ronnie on the big stage. I love it. It's going to be huge, isn't I it? I love it, honestly. It's just, I said that if he come and beats me 13 nil, I still love it to get involved with this match. Get your popcorn, everyone. <laughs> Watch this one. <laughs> I, I, listen, I, I, know it's, I know it's been a little bit spicy between yeah. the two of you. Yeah. Um, and you respect him as a snooker player. Yeah. But it feels like, you know, you, you want to beat him. You, you, you want to assert yourself as a character on the match. Listen, I said that he's, he was my hero. Maybe maybe on the way to beating him, I cry. So I never see myself to beat him because he was my hero. Once I beat him 5-0, I was, I was sad a little bit. But I, in one side, I was, I was happy because I show I can play. The way he was saying something like, Showing like this guy can play, this guy can do that. And once I give him good game, he will remember that hundred percent. But uh, yeah, he was he was my hero when I was young, but now he's my opponent. Uh, this is life. I have to stand in front of him one day if I want to become world champion. But he already proved everything. He don't have to show anything else anymore. So. And uh, I think he done every, he done enough in this sport. So, and yeah, it's just it's gonna be a good game. And hopefully, hopefully I play uh, the the way I play with Ding. So if if you don't tight the game, <laughs> are you more fired up for this match because you feel he's been disrespectful to you in the media? Oh, I, I was talking to myself. God, don't give me that opportunity. If you give me, I'm gonna do same he done to me. So he will get that and everyone will be surprised. And I said that to my God and he makes that. Everything happened for a reason. You can run away. If you do something bad to the people, if you, make, if you break someone else's heart, 
God will, you, it will give you that opportunity to get your revenge. <laughs> wow, this is going to be an incredible match. Many, many congratulations. That is one of the best sessions of snooker I've ever had the privilege to commentate on. First Iranian to make it to the Crucible, first Iranian to win a match at the Crucible. Your records go on. Thank you so much, Rob. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.